Hello and welcome to the December web letter from the good folks at TELS. Today we're going to take a look at podcasts or MP3s and how those can be used in your online courses and how to find them using iTunes. Now what you're looking at here is the iTunes Store home page and you can download iTunes for free from Apple.com. In fact, everything I'm going to show you here is free. Uh, one of the great benefits of using podcasts is that your students can access some really great information while they are jogging or while they are doing housework or they can listen to them in the car. iPods are uh, very user-friendly and more and more uh, people own them. And you can also listen to them at home on your home computer, not just on an iPod. So if you don't own an iPod, not to worry. Uh, all of this stuff is available to you using the machine you're listening to this on right now. So here is the iTunes homepage. And if you click on Podcasts from the left-hand menu, you will be presented with this next page. And pardon the uh, slowness of this machine, but... Uh, I'll do this re real time here. Um, within the podcast directory, there is a link for education. And if you click on the education link, you will then be presented with this page. And if you scroll down just a little bit on this page, you will see down here in the more education, several other selections, including higher education, K-12, and educational technology. Today I want to just show you real quick the higher education page and I just want to show you how many of these are available out there. Whether you teach psychology or math or history or any sciences, there is just many, many podcasts available. And for example, here on the right hand side of the page, today's top top podcasts, uh, here are some selections and if we click, let's say, on the American history with this uh, Gretchen Ann Riley person, we will be directed to this page. And as you can see here, there is the name of the podcast, the time, who did it, when it was released, and a short description of the podcast. And as you can see, they are all free, and there are a lot of them. Now, you can also see here, much like Amazon, you can see what other people uh, visiting this person's podcasts listen to. And again, there are probably 20 or 30 podcasts at each of those sites as well. But today what I want to show you is my iTunes and my podcasts that I subscribe to. And by what I mean by subscribing to is that every time I open iTunes, my machine goes out and looks for new podcasts from these particular people. One of those is the Chronicle of Higher Education. Another one is um, a Cut to the Core. The Apple does these educational ones. Uh, and the Education Podcasts with John Merrow, which are just excellent. And by the way, when you create Tegrity sessions, you can also subscribe to your very class in your iTunes and your students can see these and download those podcasts from iTunes um, that come from your Tegrity sessions. But for today, I just want to take a look at one of these education podcasts with John Merrow. And I'm just going to choose one of these. Uh, let's look at violence in the media, which might be used for a media course or a women in the media course or um, some type of communications class. If you select one of these and right click on it, you can go to copy and you can copy that to your desktop or to your documents or my music and then you can add it to your Blackboard course. And that's easily done simply by going to an assignment page or a folder in your assignment selection, adding an item, naming the item, writing some directions, and then clicking on the Add Audio Content icon and it'll ask you to go browse for the file. You go find that file on your desktop or wherever you've placed it. Double click on it. I would keep the Auto Start and Loop on No and the Controls at Mini. 
um, I would give it a alt text and click submit and your blackboard course once you click submit will then have that item added into your assignments and it will look like this the weekly podcast your directions and then this small mini control and it's just that easy and all of that is done for free and it's done using iTunes and podcasts and I have to tell you there's just a million out there and they are a really great resource for our classes and any learning environment if you have any questions about this you can contact us at tells and we'd love to help you have a good holiday season and we will see you at another time thank you very much